Hello. I'm just coming to you with a quick lock update. Um, today I'm 16 weeks. I'm so excited. Loving my hair still. Um, give you a close up. Oh, I'm loving it. Dang, I really do. I did another braid out. Gray. Got a little new growth. I haven't retightened. I don't know how you can see that. See how much I need to retighten. But um, yes, I'm absolutely loving my lots. Loving them. And I haven't retightened for a while, and it seems like it's fuller when I fuller when I don't. It's been um, it's December twenty um, ninth today. I retightened retightened the last time before a little before Thanksgiving. So I'm loving. So um, some of the things that I've been dealing with is I've um, had some dry scalp. Um, dreads not don't really be dry. Usually, what I do, um, I start spritzing it every day with rose water, and I got vitamin E, and that really helped. Uh, pour vitamin E in my rose water, a little coconut oil, and a little um, olive oil, and it actually works for me. But when I do my braids braid out I don't I do not um, spray it daily so I know when I'm done with this or this has been in almost a week so once I'm not wearing this braid out I will go back to spr spritzing my hair every day I just don't want to mess up the curl pattern while I'm doing it and it's soft so soft and like airy kind of like just really soft um as for growth, it's growing. It's actually quite long. Let me see. So, can't really see good, but lots of shrinkage. But that don't, that do not bother me at all. Just love my hair. And what else I want to talk to you about? I've been watching because of the dryness. I start washing every week. I don't know how long I'm going to do that. I might go back to um, every two weeks, um, depending on we'll see. But right now, I've been washing every week because a lot of YouTubers say the more you wash, the better. The washing your hair speeds along the lock process. So that's why I've been doing that. Vitamin E, like I said, really made a difference with my hair um, as far as dryness. Um, so far, loving this journey, and I think the longer I'm in this journey, the more I love it. I, um, I got my little sheet that I want to talk about. <laughs> um, no problem with Lint, but I did watch um, Yanni. On YouTube and her solution to Lent was um, to dye your hair black but so that works for that would work for me because I do dye my hair black so instead of pulling it out which could may or may not disturb the lock the locking process but that would be kind of hard with, to do if your hair is blonde or another color to pull out lint but so I tie my hair up every night so I have not had a lint problem at all none I put a satin bonnet on I do something and I'm loving this journey um, I actually have not retightened my hair because it grows different rates in different areas I've noticed 
you know it doesn't grow at the same rate in all areas so some some spots I have a lot of new growth you know it's far from this from my scalp look at that new growth and then in some areas I have very little like in here like the top back it's, it's one that's really still close to the scalp. So I'm just going to go a little longer where I can get at least a complete east, west, north, south rotation where I can get a complete rotation. Um, but as I said, I'm liking the little puffiness anywhere. My hair like liking the fullness. And uh, something else I wanted to talk about. Um, um, I think that will be it. Uh, I'll I'll come back when I retighten. I'm st even though I'm trying not to. I'm excited about when I do retighten because I want to see um, how neat and how my hair lays and if it adds some length to it, nothing like a new retightening. Um, and I seen something today on Instagram and it was it was ladies, it was two it was a picture of ladies and they were saying how, you know, no, you can't touch my hair. It's 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 a journey. You gotta be careful of the energy when people want to come up and touch your hair. So I said that's right this is personal this is my journey I don't want everybody hands in my hair feeling in my hair so I said for now when they say can I touch your hair I'm gonna say you know no no there's no need to touch my hair or either ask them can I bless your hands <laughs> and pray for them hands before they get in my hair and it's not everybody, but I don't want complete strangers coming up to touch my hair. No, 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 no. I remember one time at work, a lady, she didn't even ask. I was at the printer, and she just came up and touched my hair. This when I was natural. No. So, I want people to respect my hair, respect this journey I'm in. This is my baby. This is I love my hair. I love me. It's a part of me. Um, you wouldn't come up, could you touch my skin, could you cut, touch my face, you know, so no, but loving it. This is just, it's so me. I should have did this year, I say it all the time, but I should have did this years ago. I love my hair, I love my hair, I love my hair. Just wonderful. And I love the braid outs. Oh, something else. I really do not, this is how my hair is. I don't do any styles to it only because, you know, I've seen videos where some people say pulling it a lot or something can cause thinning and cause thinning in certain areas. I don't want that to happen. Not saying that it would, but I, I just want healthy locks, healthy, strong, magnificent, beautiful locks and anything that I think might interfere with that um, I want no parts of right now and um, now once my locks mature and are strong then yeah of course I'm, I can't wait to do styles in it and then also like the my ends are looking really wonderful and I've had a few uh, balls on the end and I just leave them alone I'm letting them do what do what you want to do I love you but anyway one day I had a ball on it and my BFF, when I seen the ball hanging, I tried to tuck it in between the dreads because I knew she was going to say something or we're like sisters. So anyway, I'm talking to her and somehow my little fellow must have found his way out. And before I know it, we talking and duck, she's just snatched it. I said, Marie, you're not supposed to do that. You got to let them do what they want to do. You know, that's part of my journey. That's part of my process. The balls, the frizz. I just want my hair to do what it's going to do. I'm so excited. I look at dread. 
I, I look at locks, I look at braid locks, twisted locks, all freeform locks, <laughs> all day long. I look at them from the, the start of it to, to many years later, uh, short locks, down to your butt locks. Uh, I'm just obsessed and, I, and I'm so glad that all of our locks, they're different, but they're also beautiful to me. Um, so I'm just respecting this journey. I'm loving this journey. I'm loving watching videos and learning even more because trust me, I take your advice and I'm just so excited and God bless. Have a good day.